Uh, we're joined in the height of summer, as you can see, by uh, two uh, new signings here. We've got Will Bell and Marcus Marshall. Welcome to the club, gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers. Um, so we'll start with you, Marcus. Um, you've uh, you've played against us quite a few times in the in your, the recent past. Um, how, how do you end up uh, on a beautiful summer's day at the Globe Arena? Well, it's been a long one. Um, not had the greatest seasons at Bury. Um, went on loan, had a few good games at Grimsby, and then from one way or another, the managers contacted me. Um, he got actually got Kev to have a word. Did they? See if I'd be interested. Is that from your time at Rotherham? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I said, yeah, sure. So I came up and met him. Had a look around the place, and he he just sold the place to me, to be honest. So it was an easy decision for you. Yeah, definitely. So you obviously an unhappy time at Berry from your point of view, uh, a personal and obviously team-wise. Uh, a lot of changes in management and players coming and going, money problems, and obviously relegation in the end. Um, new start, fresh start for you here. Uh, what are your thoughts on the setup? What are your thoughts on uh, Jim? Um, he's a top guy. Everything he said. He likes working with young people. He thinks he can get the best out of me, and that's all I want. He said I'll enjoy my football, and it's a fresh start. So where do you see your best position? Uh, right wing or left wing, I don't mind. So uh, I think I think Kevin's got the left side nailed down. And I think, uh, do you want to argue with Kevin about that? Nah, he's got a few goals from there, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some belters here, actually. If you could match that, yeah. Marcus, that would be good. Um, so everybody says this, but obviously here we are in uh, in June. Um, raring to get going? Definitely, can't wait. So I'll move on to Will. Well, this was an easy decision for you to make, was it? Yeah, it was, definitely. I've uh, worked hard over the last 12 months for it, and I'm just delighted to be given a chance, really. And from your point of view, you, you, you've uh, you've made well, uh, millions of appearances, uh, and uh, once, or two, once or twice on the bench, you're hoping to uh, push your way into the first team? Yeah, definitely. Um, everyone comes back on a level, you know, you, like, you've got your own chance, haven't you? Take it pre-season, so... Just gotta work hard, show the gaffer what I can do in pre-season, and hopefully be pushing for places early. It's interesting that Mar Marcus is sat next to you today because uh, Marcus is one of the few signings in the past couple of years that hasn't had your accent. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so from uh, Marcus, can you do a Scouts accent? Nah, you, no chance. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously you get used to Kev, but there are there are, there are quite a lot of Liverpool lads in the dressing room, aren't there? Yeah, there is, yeah. So well, you fit in easy there, but Marcus, will you fit? That's the question. <laughs> I fit in anyway. <laughs> well, welcome to the club, um, and well done on getting a contract for the pair of you. Uh, I sincerely hope you have a successful season, the pair of us. Uh, and, and also, you know, looking at the fixtures that have just come out, we've got a Wolves game to look forward to. That should be a belter, shouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's the best thing about pre-season playing the top-level clubs. Yeah, it is. You're right. So um, we'll probably have another word with you as and when pre-season uh, has kicked off yeah. and, uh, and we've seen you performing in Morecambe shirt. We'll see how things are going. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.